Scott, congratulations on your second annual event. Uh, tell us a little bit about last year, some of the successes that you had. I know you, when I spoke to you last, it was um, what you were hoping to get out of it. So tell me what the successes were from last year. I would say this, the success that I got out of last year, I didn't know if anyone would show up. Okay, so just to see people walking in the room blew me away. And then when we saw people actually bidding on the photos, that was even even more, uh, it was even better uh, to, to see that. So we were, I was really impressed with the whole evening, uh, and I liked it again, and I wanted, wanted to do it again this year. Wonder, that's wonderful. That's absolutely wonderful. And it's again, it's a wonderful exhibit that you have here. And of course, the charity. Tell us a little bit about your charity. Yeah, so we're partner, partnering up again with uh, Green K, the Friends of Green K and the Nature Center in Boynton Beach. Uh, they were good to work with last year. This year I went into the, uh, to the board meeting and in five minutes they said, you got it. <laughs> so it was much, much easier, much smoother uh, to work with them this year. Oh, that's wonderful. Uh, so, yeah, so that was, that was probably the easiest part of the uh, whole process. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Now, I know last year you had um, a lot of the photographers were people that you were friends with and that you had taken classes with. The same again this year? It was, or It was the same again. I invited those people, the same group. Okay, some were yeses. A lot of them were yeses. Some were noes. And then also with some of the other people that are working on the team, they've got their friends, their photographers. So we've got new people as well. So, so about the same number, maybe a couple less, but it, but but a really good response there. And I already saw someone coming up and asking you for next year, so yeah, I guess exactly. we'll have a next year, yes. Exactly. <laughs> and I've had two people ask me how they can contribute next year. So uh, that's so, yeah, that's really good. And that's heartwarming, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, definitely. And you know, I mean, one thing I, I wanted to do was to try to reach out to my community. I could have put something on Facebook and probably had a lot of people. Okay, but I'm trying to keep it to my community and reach out to the people directly. And uh, so that's something that, that took a little bit more work to do, but, but, but uh, something I chose to do. Which is still good. I mean, I, we did see it on Facebook, but yeah. Yeah. Um, so those yeah. of us that know you know when to find it and how to come here. So Correct. that's, you know, and last year, a few people, re when they saw it, they reached out to me and asked, and I did, I did take their contribution. This year, uh, I don't think anyone really did, or maybe one person did, and then they, when they found out more, they, they declined. Oh, okay. So. Wonderful. And I know that you, along with some of the other artists here, have some work up on the wall. So tell, can you yes. tell me about some of your work this year? Sure. I've got uh, one picture there that was uh, taking it uh, sunrise in uh, Deerfield Beach. I go there quite often for the sunrise. And just the way it was that day, the, uh, uh, instead of shooting the pier, it just was really nice with the, uh, the sun coming up and the backlit the sil silhouette of the lifeguard stand. And uh, that's the picture that, that I captured. That's gorgeous. Now, I've also noticed you've been traveling around the country and doing some other wildlife. Did you bring any of that in this year? Uh, no, I did not. Because first of all, this is for Florida. Okay, <laughs> so so no, I, and I have. Uh, most pictures that I have here actually were taken here, in, either in Boynton Beach, uh, Deerfield, or Highland Beach. Oh, that's so all the pictures here this year are local. That's great. Did you get any of the spoonbills up on the wall this year? There was one spoonbill. Uh -huh. Yeah, there, there seems to be a lot of spoonbills. Some really, really great spoonbill pictures. I've noticed a lot more in the nature, yeah. so I think that's probably why we're catching I mean, them. Partly because they're, they're they're common. They're a lot they're they're more, a lot more prevalent and uh, easier to photograph this year than they have been, which is a good thing that there's more of them around. Which shows that Green K is working. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Well, thank you, Scott. Okay. Again. Wonderful, wonderful exhibit, beautiful work, and I uh, can't wait for next year. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Thank you. So we're here with Ted Boyer, who is one of the photographers as well as one of the um, coordinators of tonight's exhibit. Ted, tell me a little bit about the exhibit and what brought you to become part of it. So I'm friends with Scott, and uh, we've been photographing together for a few years, and he had the idea of organizing a local event the local photographers uh, submitting their work for, uh, for a cause. In this case, it was Green K for the last couple of years. So what we're trying to do is just make people aware of the work, make people aware of the, uh, the conservation, the, uh, the, uh, the Green K facility. And um, we just want to contribute our work and help uh, raise some money and funds for it. And hopefully it will benefit us as photographers. So what brought you back? Because I know you were part of this last year. So what brought you back again this year? Well, it's a good event. It was well attended. And it, uh, it does allow us photographers to kind of interchange ideas and talk amongst ourselves and maybe meet some other folks that might be interested in our work. So it's a way to expose our work and at the same time benefiting the community too. So. 
That's what we like about it. <laughs> that's wonderful. Now, I know that you do have some work that's displayed, and I believe we're in front of one of them right now. So what Coincidentally. You Coincidentally. <laughs> Could you tell me a little bit about it? I mean, by chance. By chance. Know. We just found the corner. So, yeah. So. <laughs> well, actually, my main thing is I'm, I'm trying to do more landscape photography and uh, I do a lot of uh, portraits and I do mostly bird photography nature so in this case we're out actually going to shoot ospreys it's a Middleton fish camp and at Blue Cypress Lake and as we're sitting on the pontoon boat going out in the morning you know we're just loading up our stuff and we see this beautiful sunrise coming up so I switch my lenses, I put a wide angle lens, and I took a couple shots as we're heading out <laughs> uh, with the pontoon boat moving and we're just snapping away with all different angles and all that. And we got a couple nice shots that uh, that pretty much as we saw it that morning. And so we wanted to share it. It's so much better if it's uh, printed bigger, but this is what I had for this year. So uh, that's what I submitted. So I hope people will like it. So. Oh, it's beautiful. It's Thank absolutely you. beautiful. Now. It how, uh, what do you shoot with, actually? Are you a Nikon, a Canon? Nikon, yeah, yeah I've been Nikon. shooting Nikon. And you're, once you're invested in the lenses, you're kind of stuck with that brand, whether it be Canon, Nikon, or anybody else. So I've been shooting Nikon for a few years, about 15 years now. So um, I have pretty much every, almost every camera they came out with and a lot of the lenses that they have. So it just uh, it could be worse habits I have. So let's put it that way. That's true. That's very yeah. true. That's very true. It's it's a beautiful photo. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, Ted. Nice, nice talking to you. We are here with Paula Rickard, who is one of the other photographers. Did you also help organize it this year? No, not this year. She was sharing her talent in photos this year. You were a part of it last year, though, correct? I was. Okay. What what made you decide to come back again this year? Um, I think Scott did a really great job organizing it last year and raising money for a really good cause. I think uh, conservation and just becoming more aware of, our, of the nature around us, especially in Florida, I think it's a really good cause. It, it definitely is. It definitely is. And um, how long have you been actually doing photography? Um, I guess really uh, avidly for about the last three or four years. Uh, total maybe six or seven, just as a hobby work. Since I retired, I got really into photography. Retired, that sounds so good. <laughs> it is, it's very good. <laughs> so how often do you go out and actually uh, go into nature and, and shoot it? Um, you know, it could vary from uh, once a week to every day. A lot of it depends on the weather, a lot of it depends on what else is going on in, in the world. But um, I try to shoot as much as I can. And what's your favorite uh, area to actually shoot? I love Wackenahatchee and Green Cay, and I just recently found a new place in Wellington. It's a peaceful water sanctuary, and there's some really beautiful spoonbills and some really beautiful white pelicans up there right now. Oh, wow. I know, I'm seeing spoonbills going over 441, and I'm loving it. Except I have to go to work, so I can't turn oh. and take pictures. But uh, tell me something about your work, because I know we're standing in front of one of them right now. Um, this is a uh, roseate spoonbills, and I photographed them at uh, Alligator Farm in St. Augustine. They have a beautiful rookery, and there's just tons of really beautiful birds and lots and lots of spoonbills. I photographed this last year, and we were up there just as the babies were, the spoonbill babies were, kind of just learning their way around. So it was a lot of fun. They were, and the birds were really active with mating season. Oh, that's the perfect time to shoot, right? Definitely. And they are one of my favorite birds, so I'm loving seeing all of them around here right now. Thank you so much for sharing your time with us today and, of course, your artwork. And it was wonderful speaking with you. Oh, thank you. Thank you for asking me. <laughs> thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. She's my friend, by the way. You have friends? Many of you have friends? Diane?